Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video, video your personal session channel. I'm Efraim. Today, we'll talk about a subject that you certainly love if you use sublimation printing as a personalization method. We present you this head trim belt, which you can use for oven sublimation. Curious about how they work? Let's get straight into the video. Many sublimation items are challenging to print because of the different shapes and sizes. Most of the time, it's necessary to use a vacuum oven and clamps without jigs. But if you use heat trim bags, you'll be able to sublimate a wider range of products, and all you need is a heat gun and an oven. These bags or wraps are available in different sizes depending on the object you want to print. In order to show you how it's done, we're going to personalize several sublimation items, like a towel, a full mug, a thermos, and a conical cup. Thermos flasks and water bottles. They can be easily sublimated, with the advantage of being able to produce multiple at once. Print the design with your sublimation printer in mirror mode. Place the paper on the object, making sure you cover the whole of it. Use heat resistant tape to secure it. Now, choose the red string bag. Slide the bottle inside and shrink it in place little by little with the help of a heat gun until the whole printing area is correctly pressed. Pop it in the oven and sublimate for 7 minutes at 180 degrees. When the time is up, cool it using a fan or a warm water basin. Remove the plastic and the paper, and there you have it! Full mug We've already shown you how to fold a printer mug, but with these bugs, it's much easier. Besides, you can achieve high productions using ovens like this one. Print your design in mirror mode with your dye sublimation printer. Place the paper around the mug, cut a notch, and stick it with heat resistant tape. Put the mug inside the string bag and cut it to leave the handle out. Add heat tape to the cut. Gently warm up with the heat gun, making sure the bag has fully adhered to the mug. Heat at 180 degrees for 13 minutes. Once printed, cool the mug and remove both the plastic and the paper. Insulated tumbler. For this kind of polymer objects, you'll need a jig or mold to avoid warping during the baking process. And you can fully personalize an item despite its cone shape, which is a plus. Print the design in mirror image with your sublimation printer. Attach the printed sublimation paper around the cap and heat tape the seams, including the top and base, so it doesn't move. Place the jig inside the tumbler. Put them both into the bag and shrink with a heat gun. Bake for 9 minutes at 180 degrees. When finished, remove the hot jig before cooling the cup, otherwise you won't be able to get it out. Take off the plastic and paper and cool it in lukewarm water or with a fan. You can now assemble the inside of the cup and put the lid on. Tie. We'll now use them to sublimate a tile to demonstrate how versatile these shrimp bags can actually be. In this case, we've decided to imitate the well-known hydraulic tiles. Print your design in mirror image using a dye sublimation print. Place the white side of the tile on the printer paper and fix it with heat-resistant tape. Tuck it into a heat shrimp bag, trim off the excess and apply heat with a heat gun. Sublimate for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. Take off the paper and the plastic and cool it in lukewarm water 
or with a fan. These are just some examples. You can also personalize cutlery, glasses, stains, and so on. These bags are really easy to use and will guarantee your quality and productivity in your customizations. You can find them in our online shop, builder.com, as well as the ovens, printers, and accessories used in this video. We really hope this helped you. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. More quality videos come on your way. Don't miss them. See you soon.